Hello and welcome back to 27 Fox Place and for those of you who are new here my name is Randy and in today's video I'm going to be taking a break from working on the inside so that I can get outside and enjoy this beautiful spring weather. This is one of my favorite spots and I love to spend as much time out here as possible so it's important to keep it tidy but it also helps to keep the house clean because the dirt has to travel farther to get tracked inside. The weather has been erratic the last few weeks, so I've been pulling out this chair on the sunny days to get as much vitamin D as I can. I normally clean the patio covers before I store them away, but I don't think they're going to make it through another season. And I don't want to replace them now, only to have them sit on a shelf until next fall. So I'm not sure if I'm going to need them again this season, so I'm just going to hang on to them until I have a replacement. We bought these covers on Amazon about 10 years ago, and since they've held up so well, I plan on buying them again in the fall. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link below in the description box. I'm adding feet under the pots to keep them up off the ground. It makes it easier to clean up and it also helps to improve the drainage. These poinsettias are left over from Christmas and it's past time for them to go. I'm going to pull them out of the pots and shake off the dirt so that I can add them to the recycle bins. It's a good idea to keep these plants out of reach from children and pets, but it turns out they're non-toxic. But they can cause mild stomach upset in large quantities. If you're wondering about the buckets that are stacked up here, they're full of firewood. We try to keep a little bit of wood on hand because it makes a nice atmosphere when we have guests. But because of the pandemic, I'm starting to rethink keeping all this wood around. I tossed out the power cord to unravel it and the end just happened to land in the water fountain. And because it was wet, I was a little reluctant to plug it into the blower. So I decided to go into the garage and use a can of compressed air to dry it out. I was pretty confident that the plug was dry enough, so when I couldn't convince my husband to test out my theory, I went ahead and plugged it into the outlet. But I wasn't prepared for... The blower to be turned on so I nearly jumped out of my skin. So after I recovered from my brief shock, I managed to use the blower to clear off all the debris that's been collecting on the patio the past few weeks. two Australian Shepherds and because they're herding dogs they're always around to keep an eye on things and they definitely do a good job of standing in the way.
haven't been able to spend much time outside these past few weeks, so the weeds have definitely gained the upper hand. I don't like to use chemicals to control the weeds, but I also don't like pulling them. So I try to dedicate a few minutes each week to pulling the weeds so they don't get too out of hand. And it's impossible to eradicate them completely because the wind and the wildlife bring them into the yard. But it does help to control them if I can get out there before they go to seed. This is what my grandmother liked to call volunteers. Plants that volunteer in places you don't really want them. <laughs> in this case, I have verbena that's volunteered to grow between the bricks around the patio. So after I pull them out, I'm going to plant them in a better location. We have a cover that came with the grill, but because we use the grill so much, we really don't get a chance to use it. So like everything else on the patio, it has a coating of dust and pollen that needs to be rinsed off. Now that the grill is clean, I'm just going to dry it off with a chamois cloth to prevent water spots from forming. Chamois cloths are usually made from sheepskin and they are soft and highly absorbent, which makes them perfect for drying things that have a finish that can scratch easily, like cars or boats, or in this case grills. And because this grill was a bit of an investment, I want to make sure to keep it in good condition. We bought a Weber grill about 20 years ago when we first moved into the house and I wish I'd never gotten rid of it. This grill had great reviews and I have to agree, if you're looking for a grill, it's worth every penny. I'm also going to use stainless steel polish to help protect the surface from elements that might cause corrosion.
I moved the grill into the shade while I was washing it to keep the soap and water from drying too fast. So now I'm just going to move it back into place. Now that the grill is done, I'm going to wipe down the tables. I'm sure everything will be covered in pollen in no time, but it's nice while it lasts. So before I call it done for the day, I'm going to give the plants a little love. Of course it's spring so everything is blooming but I'm going to use a little fer a fertilizer for a better payout. I'm using fish emulsion and if you're looking for a showy garden this stuff works great. This fertilizer is a liquid form but it's getting a little thick so I'm just going to add a little water to thin it down. I'll dilute it in the watering can according to the directions and then I'll water the plants as I normally would. And in about a week the patio should be bursting with flowers. Our yard is pretty sheltered from the wind, but they've been so strong for the past few weeks that it knocked this pot off its feet. So now that the weather is a little bit nicer, I'm going to put the feet back in place. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today and if you enjoyed this video be sure and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already be sure to subscribe so you can receive notifications whenever I post new videos. There's absolutely no obligation for subscribers and it's easy to do. Just click the subscribe button below and then hit the bell icon to turn on notifications. So I'll say goodbye for now and I hope to see you in the next video.